Red has just added face tracking autofocus on both the Komodo and V Raptor. So in today's video, I'm going to go over how it works. Also show you how to set it up because using face tracking autofocus with both the Komodo and V Raptor requires you to use the Red Control app or the Red Control Pro app. Now the Red Control app for both iPhone and Android is free. If you need a little bit more than what Red offers with Red Control, they do offer a pro version of the app that works on both iPads and computers. So definitely look into that but this face tracking autofocus works on both the original red control app and red control pro so let's go over how to enable face tracking autofocus i'm going to be doing this in landscape mode but you can do it in both landscape and portrait modes on your phone first thing you're going to want to do when you open up your app you're going to want to go over to the focus make sure that autofocus is enabled in camera and on the lens then on the bottom left you're going to see the tools button so click that and then on the left side of the screen but on the bottom right you're going to see app face detect now make sure that you click that the first thing that's going to pop up is first if you hit it again you're going to see last I leave it on first another thing you're going to want to make sure is that the AF is set to continuous autofocus so now let's go over to the camera and see how face tracking works So as you just saw, when using the app, face tracking absolutely works now. But unfortunately, number one, it only works when using the app, at least as of right now in October of 2022. Another thing I noticed is its performance is kind of on a lens by lens basis. So I did some testing with the RF 16 millimeter and it seemed to work really fine. But then I also put the 35 millimeter on and although I can get it to work fine some of the time, there were other times where I was just completely out of focus and it would not come back. Then of course on EF lenses, I tested it on the Sigma 18 to 35 and it definitely seemed to work okay. So I think in the end here, the one thing to remember is there's a reason that the autofocus on the Komodo and V Raptor is still in beta because they're still working on stuff for these cameras, which is crazy because the Komodo has been out for over two years now and we're still getting crazy updates that were never promised when the camera was released. So I'm really happy that Red added face tracking. I'll be doing a test with all the lenses that that I own to see how the face tracking performance works because one of the reasons I ended up picking up mirrorless Canon cameras was the fact that I needed face tracking autofocus for a lot of the run and gun work I was doing. And the fact that I can get this on my Komodo now, paired with the firmware update we're getting later this year to get a higher compression in the Komodo, I am really stoked to start using the Komodo on more jobs again as I've been having to use my Canon cameras due to file size and autofocus reasons on a lot of smaller end gigs that I would be totally happy to use the Komodo for now that it's getting these upgrades. So if you have any questions about the face tracking or you have any tests you want to see specifically, make sure to put them in the comments below. And if you got knowledge and value out of today's video, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep up to date with the latest videos on the channel. Until next time, thank you for watching, everybody. My name's Jeff Fagan, and I will see you in the next video.